find the derivative of f of x equals 3x cubed minus 4x squared from first principles. To find f dashed of x, we compute the limit as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And we have that f of x equals 3x cubed minus 4x squared, and so f of x plus h equals 3x plus h cubed minus 4x plus h squared. And so given those two expressions, we obtain the limit as h tends to 0 of 3x plus h cubed minus 4x plus h squared minus 3x cubed minus 4x squared over h. And now, since the numerator of this expression is rather complex, we take a detour to compute it. And we start by expanding 4x plus h all squared. We expand x plus h all squared using FOIL as follows. And on bringing together like terms, we obtain x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. And thus, 4x plus h all squared becomes 4 times that quantity, which gives us 4x squared plus 8hx plus 4h squared. Now we expand 3x plus h all cubed. And first we expand x plus h all cubed as follows. x plus h all cubed equals x plus h times x plus h squared which is x plus h times x squared plus 2hx plus h squared, using the expansion above. And now we use crab claws to expand these brackets, like so. And we bring together like terms to obtain x cubed plus 3hx squared plus 3h squared x plus h cubed. And so 3x plus h all cubed becomes 3 times that expression, which gives us 3x cubed plus 9hx squared plus 9h squared x plus 3h cubed. And now the numerator expands as follows where we have replaced 3x plus h cubed with its expansion, and similarly for minus 4x plus h squared, and where we have expanded the final two terms as minus 3x cubed plus 4x squared. And now we can do some cancellation to obtain 9hx squared plus 9h squared x plus 3h cubed minus 8hx minus 4h squared. And so on making that substitution in the denominator, we obtain this expression. And now we factor out h from each term in the denominator and cancel to leave us this expression, which we reorder into the limit as h tends to 0 of 9x squared minus 8x plus h into 9x plus 3h minus 4. So we split the limit of a sum into the sum of limits, and we note that the terms in the first limit have no dependence on h, and so are unchanged by the limiting process. And the terms in the second limit all have a common factor of h, and so the limit as a whole tends to zero as h tends to zero. And so we obtain as a final result 9x squared minus 8x. Thus, if f of x equals 3x cubed minus 4x squared, then f dashed of x equals 9x squared minus 8x.